good getting internet. Mm, it's sad that you can't hear booze purrs. I just realized that means that there's four videos in a row where Boo is on camera and it's two separate days. It just happens to be that Boo's the one out and about right now. So anyway, um, let's get back to our game. So in the rating charts, Yang theoretically has a better military than us. In reality, it's just bigger. Lol has more territory than us for now. We're about to start expanding significantly more. And, oh, yeah, I should be building a colony pod over here. Just queue that up so I can actually take some of this territory. Um, but power graph-wise, we're doing better. Um, we are starting to separate more and more from lol, so that's good. We have plenty of money, and let's go ahead and take our next turn. Yes, kill the all. A sea lurk. Production complete. That was a random pause. So sea lurks are the other type of water unit, a uh, native water unit. Sea lurks um, are submarines, basically. You can't see them from further away, except that you'll notice that there's fog of war anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant. And all they can do is attack. They cannot, they don't count as a transport or anything like that. They're also not any stronger than an Isle of the Deep. I really don't understand the point of Sea Lurks. They got added in by the expansion, and they don't really do anything that the Isle of the Deep can't. It's okay, build more colony pod. Um, let's take a look at that Sea Lurk. So yeah, it's question mark, question mark, four, just like every other psionic unit. Its movement speed is four, which if I remember right, Nile of the Deep's movement speed is either four or five. So I I don't get it. I don't I really don't understand why these exist. They're just there. And unfortunately they destroyed a former, but um Former is mostly done anyway. So I'm not too concerned. So, I'm assuming, yeah, you're way too far away, but we should at least move you to university base. One, two, one, zero. So, as you had seen from the Unity foil be or Unity copter before, copters have the ability to run out of fuel and just take damage, but keep moving without just immediately dying, which is nice. Terraform um, complete. We'll be doing that a lot. <laughs> better? Recovered. Yes, better. Oh yeah, we can compare over here. The Isle of the Deep has... Four movement as well. So yeah, they're just worse Isle of the Deeps. I really don't understand. Um, getting a little on the high side for damage. Not a fan. Indigenous life forms. Uh, of course, when I'm actually trying to move closer. Alright, you're going to disembark the former and a colony pod. Gotta wait. Move my broccoli around. It kind of looks like broccoli, right? Nutrient resources. Bot recovered. Xenofungal bloom. Um, in theory, I would win that. How about in practice? Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna try to level up first. Barely won that. Move. Nope. Turn complete. You are the children of a dead planet, Earth Deidre, and this death we do not comprehend. We shall take you in, but may we ask this question? Will we too catch the planet death disease? 
Lady Deirdre Sky, Conversations with Planet. You were wondering what the voice was that I was imitating when it came to the pop message or any of the other interludes for plot. That is the voice of Planet. Um, yeah. So all mining platforms get plus one mineral bonus, which is very nice. We can use the mineral bonus. Uh, mining platforms are the C platforms for reference. Um, the other thing is that we can now construct soil enrichers, which give us even more food on a tile. It's useful for boreholes, not so much for anything else. And we can melt the polar ice caps if we want. So, you know, that's a thing. But more importantly, superformers, which means we need to start upgrading again. Oh, right. I need to hurry up, hurry a secret project, don't I? Um, looking at these options... Let's go with Centauri Meditation. Complete. Uh, do, 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 do. Neural Amp. You're going to get hurried. Uh, all but 96. So add 4 minus 100. That's um, 488. There we go. No, don't arrange things like that. Ah. All right, it's eight to six, so I don't have the greatest chances. You'll notice that Psy is one on both units. I won though, that's the important part because I heal up immediately on resting for a turn in a base with air units since I have airspace complexes everywhere, which is nice. Indigenous life form. Nom? Nom. You are sleeping. You are awake. Indigenous life forms. You choose violence. You need to move to fungus and sleep. You Indigenous need to choose violence. Get back all of our money, apparently. Um, oh, right. Before I do anything else, formers, you are going to add... Superformer. Apply. Go back to former. Oh, wait. Um, can I also upgrade that? That's going to add a little bit more. 50 versus 40. Actually, instead of that, can we make you clean? 60, 40. Hmm. Is that something I can afford? Wait, why do you have two different superformers? I didn't make both of those, did I? So there's the super clean. And yeah, you just get retired. I want the one that's clean. Yes, I can afford it. I'm totally doing it. So the reason what I so what I did was I upgraded all of our formers to be superformers. That doubles their terraforming rate, which is great. Um, the other thing that I did was add clean reactor. Clean reactors mean that the units no longer require support. The reason why I did that is that I have 12 formers. That is 12 resources per turn that I am wasting. We have no need for that. Let's get rid of that. Um, also, I wanted to double check. Special abilities. Superformer. Yep. Superformer ability double, at, doubles the speed in which a unit performs normal terraforming functions. It can only be used with terraforming units. So that's doubled, and then we're doubled again from the um, weather paradigm, which means it is now two turns to remove a fungus. If I had the fungicidal tanks as well, it would have just immediately removed. So that would have been nice, but... I would prefer to be clean. Oh, damn it. I actually wanted you to move into that. 
Rest. Rest. How many turns do you have left for the colony pod? Two. Yeah. We're going to rush that colony pod so we can actually get it. I mean, I'm only going to be moving it over to, like, here, probably. Hurry. Uh, it's going to be all but 22. 60 minus 22 is 38. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's so I can actually use math. I don't get to use math very often anymore. Um, yeah, we're going to have you move back. Oh, you already have a transport foil. The hell am I doing? <sighs> I should have noticed that before. Whoops. Um, I'm just going to wait one more turn where I have two colony pods instead of one. Because why not? Which means I am going to have you go up and collect some things. Turn complete. Forest. Forest. Indigenous life form. Landing some mind worms. And secret project time. Let's go. Against such abominations, we organize our defenses on the principle that one strong and able mind can shield the many. Spartan Battle Manual. Yep, there's not really much to say about that one. It's a little on the creepy side. But basically, hey look, we're going to be better at defending ourselves against mind forms. Technically, we'd also be better at, better at defending ourselves against... AI alien or AI native units, but only Deidre is probably going to have any. And even then, I don't even know if she has any. Um, We're already working on longevity vaccine elsewhere. Let's go ahead and take this opportunity to finally build a fusion lab. And reduce ego damage a little bit. Production complete. We built another colony pod. Honestly... Let's just do this for a while. We need to start potting out pretty bad. I've been lax about this. Production we need more. Complete. A lot more. Okay. Now that you're done with your colony pod, let's go ahead and build you... I'm kind of tempted to build a tree farm, even though there's no forests in range. But those two spots, well, one of them will have a forest, the other will probably have a borehole. Production complete. Uh, right. You have Hab. Hab is always nice. Um, yeah, let's get you a tree farm. Even though you have very few forests also. But... Terraform complete. All right, we've got a new borehole. But more importantly, each... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, each tree farm that we build is going to increase our clean mineral limit by one. Wait... Put in another one. You're going to rest a turn. You're going to boreholing. We're basically going to start boreholing all along our spots that we're not using. You're going to wait for a moment. You're going to wait there. Tchaikovsky Institute, you are going to activate that and nom. You should have waited. Indigenous life forms. Um? Nom. We're low on energy, so more nom the better. Wait, you're going to build Pavlov Biolab. 
There we go. Now we've finally expanded for the first time in a long time. Um, we are going to load up our template, but we're actually going to start modifying the template a little bit. So we want... Where did my... All I have is the empath impact infantry, and I'm pretty sure that costs a lot more. Um, hold on a moment. Before I do anything else, let me double check things really fast. You versus that. That is 60 garrison or 60 cost versus 60 cost. Okay, that is actually correct. I think I do want a cheap unit though. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a cheap police. Um, so we're going to use police. Uh, why am I not seeing it? Because it's further down. Non-lethal methods. Actually, to be honest, that is actually what I'd prefer to have. 20, 40, 40, 60. Yeah. Let's just keep it like that. It's going to cost twice as much, but at least it's twice as useful for police, and we can always upgrade it if we're actually under attack. Um, in addition, so we have Recycling Tank, which is going to be useful. Formers, Formers, Crate, Rec Commons. We want a tree farm thrown in here. We're going to put the tree farm there. And then we are going to add a C former. And then we will have Hab Complex at the end. This is going to be our postal one. There we go. We wanted to make sure that we had better templates because we're going to be oh, using a lot of them. Oh, hey, look, free infantry. That's nice. Um. That works. Rest. You need to sleep. Oh, wait. I don't need you to sleep. I need you to be garrison. Oh, I should have not bothered building a garrison there. I just realized that was why I had that unit there. Oh, well. All right. You, on the other hand, um, I would like to upgrade you. Does that make you move any faster? No. So it's not really useful to upgrade. Where am I going to put you? Um, hmm. one over here, one up here. I mean, this isn't the greatest spot, but it's not bad either. This is very unexplored, and I'd like to explore it before I start colonizing it. Could build over here. I would be close by Sparta. Yeah, let's actually build close by Sparta. I'm going to go one here, one here. Although that's kind of far away for that foil. I'd rather not go that far yet. Um, we're going to go one on this landmass, like there. And the other one to be determined, probably on the same landmass. So we're going to move you to there. This will take you a while because you're slow. Move up. There we go. Complete. And next turn, I can drop that off. Hello, Morgan. You're insignificant. I really don't care about you. Give you 100 and I get two energy credits back per year? No, I don't even think you're going to last that long. Yep, you've terminated the Pact of Brotherhood, which means that I don't have to worry about that. Thank you. Indigenous life forms. Okay, so that is, in fact, glitching. I thought that might be the case. So you will notice... Oh, I'll continue through this first um, you need an aqua farm and let's go ahead and pump out a C wait no we need to not do that we're going to replace that with a research hospital okay um Production complete. So, one thing that I forgot to do, I need a cruiser.
colony. Deep radar is fine. I don't really care that much about colony pods being clean. And yeah, it costs too much to do upgrades. The reason why is that they move so much faster that it's not worth using a base colony pod anymore. Oh, C colony pod, I mean. The land ones are a different story because I'm primarily using transports with them, so that's fine. But C colony, where's my C colony? There you are. Cannot execute order. You are now obsolete. Throw that on the end. You need to sit. You need to numb. You probably should have sat. You're gonna just shoot for no reason. Road to the borehole. All right. You're going to need to start making your way over to there. So this thing, what it is, is that there's a spore launcher on here. And as a glitch to the game, so you're not supposed to be able to use ranged units from C. The AI can. And when there is a spore launcher on denial of a deep like this, what ends up happening is that it gets stuck. The um, pop-up message that says that they're invading the land, what it is is that they're actually trying to shoot my improvements, and they're failing in that case. So I need to take a unit over to there to attack it in order to get rid of the Isle of the Deep, which will also get rid of the Sport Launcher. Also, I just noticed that I'm running really low on money. Um, how far away is this area? 17? Let's just move over to Gagrin Memorial. Terraform complete. Hold. You're going to move there because there's nothing on that ship that's an actual threat. You're going to drop off the colony pod there. And then continue grabbing loot. This is going to be recovered. money. Okay. Chaos foil finally finished repairing. That's nice of it. Um... We're at war with Miriam. Let's cause some chaos. It's gonna take a long time to get there, but you know, why not? So I don't necessarily, ooh, that's a powerful one. I don't necessarily want to agitate inside of my base radius just in case. Um, you're actually going to start going that way. You're holding. You're holding. You're going to explore that spot. Okay. More money. That's fine. You're going back into the ship. Ship is going to start moving. Bot recovered. Turn complete. Okay. We have... Actually, we have 582 energy. We got a lot of energy this turn, so we're fine. I was going to say that we might have needed to swap back to... Producing energy for a bit, but no, not yet. We're losing 94 energy a turn, so you that's going to happen. Yep, you're doing nothing again. Yeah, your memorial gets its fusion lab. Let's go ahead and build another sky hydroponics lab, because we can. And let's start getting up to at least seven of them. Production complete. We have an aqua farm. Nice. Um... You're still at six population. Oops. You have four turns until you hit seven. We're gonna go bio lab, then hab. And we'll be done for now. Production complete. Okay, so it's 23 to 8, but in reality, it's 23 to 16. So let's go ahead and save, just in case. We succeeded, though. We have our new borehole. And that supply crawler is, in fact, grabbing minerals, which is why we have four eco damage. Again. One eco damage there. Four eco damage there. Yeah, we're going to be dealing with eco damage for a bit. We can't increase our clean mineral limit fast enough 
because it requires us to build more tree labs at this point. It's the only building that we have to increase it. Which sucks. Um, we're going to go back here and continue with the soil enrichers because we can. You're going to sit there for a bit. Indigenous life. Nom. Nom. Road. Sleep. All right. About time. Oh, wow. You are really bad on minerals. Let's just deal with that now. You're going to remove some fungus. And then now that you have dropped everybody off, you're going to head back to pick up more colony pods. And this is basically the way we're going to be doing things for a while. Game. Why are you so slow when you do this processing? Okay. Save. Because, nope. Indigenous life um. Alright, there was actually a pod thing there. Whoops. Indigenous life form. Num. Build Corlev Center. Hey look, you're coastal. Guess what template you're using? Yep, it's coastal. Ah. Uh, I hate it when it glitches the map like that. Hi, Miriam. We're at war. No, I'm not going to do anything for that. Zakharov. It is the Lord's will that we end this immoral conflict. Pledge blood truce with me, and I shall pray for your soul's redemption. I'll see you in hell first, Miriam. Ooh. To secure blood truce, I offer all of our data on field modulation. So, admittedly, this is a tech that I don't particularly care about, but it's interesting that it's being offered to me. So, that means that she's scared. The AI does not normally do this. But, if I push, there's a chance that she'll submit to me, which is a way better situation. She's not, but... Alright. But this is a probe team, anyway. So... We want, so this is what a probe team thing does. So it's our probe network has linked to the believing network and is awaiting instructions. So we can choose one of these options. Infiltrate data links just gives us uh, espionage information about the faction. That's a basic action that will have a hundred percent chance of success. We can procure research data, which has a chance of failure. We can abotage activate a sabotage virus, which will destroy a random building in there, or we can even spe specify what we want to destroy. If we specify, it's an even higher chance of failure. Draining energy reserves is literally just getting money from them. Inciting drone riots will cause an extra drone to appear in the base, and engaging a mind control probe allows us to buy the base. Which has 100% chance of success. The problem is that base is terrible. If I'm going to buy a base, I'd rather buy one of their land bases and just go that way. Um, you know, maybe I just do this. Mine. And free tech. The progenitor race appears to sense and possibly even manipulate Local fields an untrained human cannot perceive without mechanical aid, including at the very least electricity and magnetism. This sensitivity creates entirely new worlds of artistic endeavors for the race, or it may be developed into a powerful combat awareness that can foil any attempt at surprise. Prime function, Aki Zeta 5, alien analysis. So yeah, basically, they, the way that the aliens communicate, and their sensory 
forms as a result is basically by modulating like magnetic fields and so on around them. It's kind of neat of a concept. And we have captured our first base without using a military in it. Probe team compromised. But we lost the probe team. That does suck. Turn complete. All right, so what's in here? Oh, they have a fusion unit. Who gave them fusion? Um, so what I want is a chaos copter. How much are you going to cost? Confirmation. Hmm. Or I can get a probe team, which is going to cost the exact same amount of money. So a chaos copter would be much more useful for actually damaging their things, but I have no way of capturing anything over there right now. On the other hand, if I grab a probe team, I can buy more bases, which will let me actually be able to capture things. So I think I'm going to buy a probe team. I'm just going to spend all. And I'm going to switch over back over to money. For a little bit. So we're going to be poor. We're going to be a bit on the lay poor side for, you know, a turn or two. Yep, they're angry. Production complete. But that's okay. We have a new probe team. Now we're going to switch you over to the gas copter because that's what we're going to buy next. Energy. Oh, if only I had a Locust of Chiron. I could actually start swarming right now. Um, so, fun thing when it comes to probe teams is that you can also buy military units. However, um, you cannot buy a stack. So if there's a single military unit by itself, you can buy it. If there's a stack of military units where there's more than one on that tile, you can't buy them. Hi, Miriam. No. I mean, that's a lot of money, but no. Really notice, I'm currently trying to move into that tile and it's not letting me. But, ooh, they must have just increased their probe rating by quite a bit. Um, no, they're running Frontier Free Market? What the hell? Okay. I don't have enough money to be able to buy much else right now. That's unfortunate. One. Um, I want your money. I don't care if you know... So this is the other thing, is that you can pin the blame on somebody else, which makes it fun because... If you do this right, they will be in the eternal war with somebody else for the entire rest of their days. It does decrease the chance of success. Uh, for reference, the first number is your chance of success. The second number is the chance that the probe team survives. So this means that no matter what, I will succeed, but I only I have an 84% chance the probe team is fine and a 16% chance it dies, which is what I'm going to do. I got 24. It's not Mission bad, but it's not great. Recovered. Seen a fungal bloom. Who would have thought? You're gonna stay. You're gonna life forms. open more life forms up. But recovered. No. Alien artifact. Hmm. You know what? You're actually gonna go pick that up. Mineral resources. Terraform complete. Gonna sleep for a moment because you're low on hit points. All right. I hate it doing this on the last turn, but we got money out of it. Money's good. I like money. You're going to heal up for the turn. All right. Miriam, are you willing to surrender? No. Hello, Santiago. Um, no, I'm not going to declare war on LOL. The hell are you talking about? 
Oh no, you've got a missile battery. I'm not giving you percentage logarithms and I'm not loaning you money. Do you have anything I care about? No. You're not even at war with Miriam anymore. What good are you? Production complete. Meow. All right, you built the useless energy bank. It is useless because once I build the secret project that gives an energy bank in every place, it's basically just money. Um, There is nothing you can build that's useful, like building-wise. I'm already building longevity vaccine elsewhere. I think I might need to build some units. Let's go ahead and build ourselves an offensive um, cruiser unit. So let's go into the workshop. Let's go cruiser, chaos gun. I'm going to go res three. Nah, we can go plasma steel and clean. Yeah, plasma steel is fine for this. All right, and then you are going to build that unit that I just designed. There we go. Problem solved. It'll take four turns. That's fine. It'll take three turns. That's also fine. Hmm, more rain. Nice calming rain. Oh, I built that on top of a spot that the university base can access. I'm a fool. Oh, well, not a big deal. Actually, wait a second. Do you have the... No, you don't. Okay. I didn't think so. Just nom that thing already. Thank you. Not that thing while you're at it. All right, you've at least reached a land mass. Wherever that was, that was over here, right? Yeah. You've reached a land mass. Um, I think I am going to wait another turn to actually offload because I want to be in the right spot. Bot recovered. Xenofungal bloom, as usual. Bot recovered. Meh. Next turn, I'll pick that up. Oh, free unit. Okay. Um, six to five. Let's go for it. Okay. Are you kidding me? There's even more of them. Um. Can I survive this? Yes. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up some of those spore launchers. Because they're just taking up space and I don't really want them. Want them there, that is. They're useful for other things. Ooh, you are expanding. That is good to know. You're right nearby me. Um, Can I tell you to stop? I don't think that's a thing in this game. No, I'm not giving you fusion. Um, Garner of the Deep. Can I give you money for it? I would have to give a lot of money. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Let's headquarter you in university base. Because why not? All right, probe team. You're a lead already. Wow. How much would it cost to buy this base? 972. Mission accomplished. Yep. Turn Just get more complete. money. And next turn I'll be able to buy a base. Enemy project initiated. You started longevity vaccine. Production I'm gonna complete. beat you to that for sure. Um 
I don't want you to build things that cost minerals because you're my good base. So I'm just going to start building more hydro sky labs. Sky farms. There we go. That's the short version. Terraform complete. All right. You are going to... Honestly, Academic Rock is probably a better spot for it. Okay, you've built your better soil and richer thingy. Um, Terraform complete. Sleep. Forest. Indigenous by the way, forest. is anybody actually entertained by watching me do the... Ooh, I lost. Oh, well. Uh, anybody actually entertained by me doing this? Because I don't know how interesting it is to watch somebody play this. Mine. Okay, colony is going there. Second colony down there is not necessarily the worst idea. Or second colony over here. I mean, honestly, I want both, but it's going to take me a while to get to both kind of thinking island hopping is the best strategy rather than completely taking over one island nah I'm going to go here just in case right you're going to that Indigenous life form. Nom? Oh, let's just reload and not do that. You're going to wait. You're going to take that. Then I am going to select you, and you're going to head to here first. Because it's quicker to get there. Um. Oh. Oh, hello there. Well, I'm sorry you decided to colonize a spot that I have crap tons of units on. Um, <laughs> that was a bad idea in your case. You're going to wait. You know what? Take all three. It'll be fine. Terraform complete. We've got our new borehole, which means that this is going to be switched over... Two minerals. And now Tchaikovsky Institute should be being, producing things much faster. And it grows next turn. So that's still good. Um, you're going to continue upgrading that. Uh, you're going to head back to the other place. Um, okay, I actually have enough money to be able to buy Children of God at this point. I would prefer Lord's Wrath, but I don't think I'm getting a choice. Mind control. Confirmation. And it's now halved in price. Sweet. It's mine, sucker. I lost the probe team, but oh well. Um. Oh, and I also get that unit. How convenient. Because that's what I need. Request You're going to hurry. The copter. And now... Oh, I just noticed that there's an actual good unit over there. It's in that stack. It's hiding from me. And it's... Huh. I might actually have to care about this. Um, this garrison is getting upgraded. That way I have two garrison in there in case if they blast through one. You're going back inside of the city and holding. You are going to go off to go explore some new land masses. Um... We're going to have you go over to here. Turn complete. Hello, Miriam. You're losing this war, by the way. Production complete. Hi, Chaos Copter. This is going to suck for Miriam. All right. Um, you know what? Just keep going with that. All right. You're going to hold. and You're going to show what you can do. So what is in that stack right now? It is two transport units and a crappy unit. Okay, I don't really care. What I care about is this. 
Hey, look, we're actually attacking. I won the first university battle victory. Uh, Miriam did it way back 275 years ago, but you know. And this is why copters are so powerful. Because I can keep attacking. And... One, two, three. It's mine. Do you see what I mean yet by this being a little overpowered of a unit? All I need is somebody to be able to go in there to go conquer things. So what I'm intending to do is that I'm going to take New Jerusalem next turn. Hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm within range of New Jerusalem. Two. One. Okay. I might run a little low on hit points, so it might have to be the turn after. We'll find out. But yeah, we're actually fighting. You know, it's episode, was this, eight? And we're finally actually fighting. <laughs> That happens. Okay, you're gonna sleep because I don't need to use you for a while. Although I should probably start looking into better other things. Um, oh, right. We don't need to be all in on money anymore. Because we don't have any probe teams at the moment, so. We're going to switch back to actually getting tech. Because we're falling behind a little bit on that. Nom? Nom. Oops. Did not mean to move off a of fungus. Oh well. Bot recovered. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh. That's a problem. Kinda can't defeat one of those with just a... Artillery unit. Okay. Bot recovered. Free recycling tanks. Indigenous life form. Not bad. Nom. Two, three. One's going there. You're gonna stay on the ship for now. One's going there. eliminate more fungus because we can you're building a new base in Lomonosov Park load template nope, not land one coastal one land is going to end up being the landlocked one um, what I would like is to get a unit over here so I can actually do stuff clean infantry yeah okay I guess that's what it is called all right now here comes the part where we need to cross our fingers. So it is possible for Miriam to actually take this place back. So what I'm going to do is activate this unit, Turn move them over to here, here, then go into the editor, find those units. They are not here. Ah, that's a problem. Normally they show up in here. Oh, there they are. Upgrade. I would like you to upgrade to three Res Sentinels. Now I believe we should have some units. No, we don't. Hmm, huh, that's weird. That shouldn't have happened. Turn oh well. Complete. New Jerusalem has drone riots going on. That's good to know. Prometheus outbreak, which don't care about. Also, longevity vaccine will prevent that from ever happening. Hi, Yang. Hey, you don't like me. Um, I mean, I could go after Morgan at this point. Do I care? Yeah. 
I'd rather have Blood Truce with the Hive because they have a military unit right next to where I have a colony pod. I don't want them to destroy my colony pod. Um, do you have any research data that you're willing to trade? No, you Production don't like complete. me. All right, you have a clean chaos cruiser. That's great. Um, we're going to go back to more Sky Hydro Labs, I guess. Yeah, we don't have anything to build right now. I could throw another thing at the longevity Project vaccine, actually. Initiated. That's not the worst idea. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that in a better Production base. Complete. Like Gagger Memorial. Um, yeah, Project go with longevity initiated. vaccine. Production complete. Oh, my chaos copter isn't clean, is it? No, it's not. He should fix that. And I don't really care about deep radar if I can get another benefit, but high morale is the only other one that would actually make sense. Although Empath Song's not the worst idea. But that'll cost 90 versus 60. Yeah, it's not worth it. Let's just make it clean so I can get that extra mineral, or that extra resource. Uh, you're currently an academic rock. You're just going to upgrade in place. That's fine. Uh, you're going to start enriching some soil. More enrichment of soil. Indigenous life form. More nomming. Make back the money that I just spent. You're going to wait for a moment. Terraform complete. Numb. Ooh, barely numbed. Alright, you're going to get away. Bot recovered. Money. You're gonna take that base because they're idiots. Indigenous Don't get me wrong, it's actually a oop, lost that unit, that's fine. It's actually a decent spot. It's just not great for just leaving behind a base with no garrison. Just saying, maybe you want garrison when you're at war with somebody who's in that area. All right, so alien artifact. Let's finally use an alien artifact again. Humans, mm. correct in making leap from wealth as currency to wealth as energy. But logic failure. Wealth ultimately is extension of desire, fluctuating with emotions and state of mind. Desires, when all are supported in purely adaptable system, true wealth is achieved. Usurper Judamar, human. Nature. So we've already heard from Mamini. So this is Judamar, the other one of the um, aliens from Alien Crossfire. Um, so for a frame of reference, both of the aliens, their primary system that they try to encourage everybody to go to is planned economy. So it kind of makes sense that they have some of the more economic focused things. All right, um, I was going to do something. What was it? Oh, right. Um, we just gained something that will allow me to get a different tech or a different Request um, confirmation. One of these words. Words are getting hard tonight. Um, so 84, 96 minus 84 is it's 112. And the other place is going to switch over to the planetary Project energy grid. Initiated. There we go. Which, we're approaching an hour, so I'm probably not going to have too much more tonight. You need to head back to Colony Podopolis. It's 26 is the closest. Indigenous life. Honk. 
Nom? Nom. Um, go ahead and throw down more food there. Oh, wait, no. I don't need you to throw down food there. Dang it, me. The reason why I don't need you to throw down food there is that that's a terrible spot. Uh, forest is literally better than that. Okay. This is a problem. That's a lot of units coming by. A little concerned. Okay, how much garrison? I don't actually know. So let's find out. New Jerusalem, you have three garrison, or really two garrison, and they're both fusion. This might hurt. Okay, we got one. And we captured the alien artifact. That's good. Let's take their capital. Nope. You're mine now. As you do. Ah, I, Sister Miriam wants to talk with us for some reason. I guess that's acceptable. Ah, Provost Akadov the Brilliant. Ah, uh, please don't kill me. Oh, their might's up sufficient now, so that's nice. Um, no. Oh, I guess they don't want peace after all. You'll notice that this is a much higher level of, um, oops. Just plunk that down. Much higher level of drones than you're used to seeing. It's because on a captured base, they have a different profile for how many drones that you get. Drones start after pop three. So we actually do need to pick up one of these. We're going to pick that one up so we don't riot immediately. And we'll pop the rest of these off. Destroy a good chunk of their military, you know, as you do. And while we're at it, we're going to destroy this colony pod. Because screw you. Two. One. Zero. You're getting upgraded. You've already moved, so you can't be upgraded. Um, okay. Now that I know that's being taken care of, you're the last unit, we are going to... I think I'm going to station you over here. The reason why is that I want a military unit nearby where I'm seeing gang having military. So Miriam's a little pissed off now. All right. Oh, did you? You grew. Damn it. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to starve you. This is dumb. Drone riot. Yes, I know. Project complete. Let's get our last secret project of the day. I like this one. Hey! Get off my land, you peacekeeping son of a... I plan to live forever, of course. But barring that, I'd settle for a couple thousand years. Even 500 would be pretty nice. CEO Nwabuda K. Morgan, Morgan Link 3D Vision Interview. Yep. Um, I really like the Morgan secret projects that are interviews with Nwabuda um, K. Morgan, just because they're very goofy. But this will help us with our drone problem. Which is nice. Ah, crap. He actually does have the tech for planetary energy grid. I'm a little concerned about that. I might need to rush it. I was hoping he wouldn't be able to change any of it. Um. Well, you can't do anything else. You might as well aqua farm. The Isle of the Deep is really not Ooh. a single creature, but a colony of thousands of individual tubules. An aquatic vector of the mind worm which terrorizes planet's continents. Over its lifetime, certain tubules secrete a tough glue-like substance which hardens to form the characteristic shell that floats the colony and creates the appearance of a rogue island. Lady Deidre Sky, A Comparative Biology of Planets. 
So yeah, um, I don't know why it's specifically called meditation in this case, but you know, whatever. So we get the Centauri Preserve, which will increase our clean mineral limit by one every time that we build it. Also, it will, uh, so the plus one life cycle bonus that's referring to for alien life forms, that's a morale bonus. So if we construct alien life forms in that base, it'll get plus one morale. The problem being that we, we you don't usually construct those in most areas, so it's not that useful. Um, and also Xeno Empathy Dome, which will allow all Xenofungus squares to be counted as roads for all units, not just our native units. Um, and you remove fungus faster, and also all alien units gain plus one life cycle bonus. Eventually, you just only build elite units. Or Demon Boil in that their case. But we get an interlude. Yes, Provost Akadov. I did say Thought Waves. Dr. Fedorov wrinkled his... It, Dr. Fedorov's wrinkled smile is uh, out of that. Ah, I can't read today, apparently. Otherworldly, a grinning death's head. The mind worms, definitely, and probably the fungus itself. Even after transient human thought patterns are isolated, a complex wave dynamic remains. And there is good reason to believe that at least some... Med ah, mentation is taking place. So you're telling me this stuff thinks, you say half-heartedly, not quite prepared to buy into the idea. If so, it's a remarkably different manner of thought than that of humans. But the basic cognitive feedback loop is present. Dr. Fedorov leans forward and gestures toward the graphic with his data link stylus. The most striking thing is the loop's ability to jump from creature to creature, each fungal spore acting as a synapse. The spores and worms as individual creatures are insignificant, but the feedback across a fungal bloom or mindworm boil is impressive. How long can it keep jumping? Now your curiosity is piqued. Has it crossed the threshold into self-awareness? Difficult to say. In theory, the a powerful wave could reverberate clear around the planet, but the distances involved would make true self-awareness problematic. Perhaps a quasi-sentient state similar to that of our dreams. All right. So, um... The new text that we have that we can see, Planetary Economics, gives us Aesthetic Virtues, which is a very useful secret project. In addition, a subsea trunk line, which is the aqua farm, but for minerals. And finally, a hybrid forest, which is the tier two version of the tree farm, which is essential for me. Um, Bioadaptive Resistance gives us the ability to build spore launchers, the worst unit in the game, and gives us a resonance laser, which is six power, which is not actually all that useful. Uh, sporific gas pods do weird things. And it... Yeah, we're just going to go with planetary economics. Uh, honestly, I do kind of want to do retroviral engineering, but production complete. hybrid forests are that good, complete. and we need them. So we're going to finish up this turn, and then we will stop for the day. All right, you're clean now, so that's good. Um, you've got a lot to go through on that. I'm a little worried that I'm not going to get it. I mean, it, that one's not that big of a deal to me. But I don't want the AI to get a secret project. That's just not right. You're going to forest there, actually. You're going to sleep in another colony pod, because why not? You're going to sit there. A road. Um, I'm going to start moving over to the other spot. Indigenous You're gonna nom. We need the money. Bot recovered. Zero. One. Zero. Go there. Go ahead and heal up. Oh, or level up, actually. Also level up. Well, poop. We're not getting very far on that one. Well, we just took that mind worm. Not mean to move that unit there. That's fine. Num. 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 Nearly died. Bot recovered. Clone. Bot Not recovered. what I. Another clone. Bot recovered. And an alien artifact. Okay. Four, three, 
two, one, donk. Um, let's talk with Miriam. Let's see if we can get her to actually surrender. No. Apparently not. Um, how is the Lord's Rat? I can't see it. Let's try... Five to two. We can do it. It's going to be a little painful. Seven to eight. Yeah, that's the problem, is that we're starting to lose. We are, we are at 95% damage. We have one hit point left. Yeah, I was about to say, we could actually die to formers at that point. Like that. Unfortunately, that means we can't actually take the Lord's Wrath this turn. Perhaps a careful review of your options. So the reason why I did that is that I want to be able to take Lord's Wrath next turn. In case if people are wondering. Upgrade. Nope. I actually want you to upgrade. Oh. Hello there. Die. All right. Last chance, Miriam. Nope. You're ignoring me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and stop this here. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. I should actually save. Bye.